So, ladies and gentlemen, when talking about an angle, all right, um, what you guys have been previously used to is angles, and we just wrote angles like anything. So if I said, you know, an angle is 30 degrees, all right, um, I said draw an angle that's 30 degrees, you guys had many different ideas of what an angle is supposed to look like, correct? Those are all angles, right? And they roughly, maybe we could say, you could, you could all say they're 30 degrees. Well, it's important for an angle. There's a couple things you need to understand. One thing, a ray, an angle is a rotation of rays that go about a vertex. A vertex is your point which your two rays end at and also where they're going to rotate. All right. Um, and the important thing also about an angle is for an angle, you also remember it's a distance. It's the measure of your distance of rotation between your two rays. So when we look at an angle, if I say this one rotates this way, we have an initial and a terminal side. Okay, But that all is arbitrary. We can, it all depends on when we want to say which, which is the initial and which is the terminal. Right? If I say I start here and I go here, and then we say, oh, it's 30 degrees, oh, 30 degrees. 30 degrees, right? All depends on where you want to start, where you want to end. So when to start trigonometry, what we need to do is we need to be come up with a, a standard form of measurement, how to measure every angle. So because if I say draw an angle, I need to be able to look at all your angles and say you're all doing it correctly or incorrectly. So what we, not we, I didn't come up with it, but what mathematicians came up with is what we call the standard position. And what the standard position is, is having your initial side always be at this horizontal part right here. So if you always have your initial part of your angle always right here, and it open upward for it to be positive, and, or counterclockwise to be positive, and clockwise to be negative, where this is going to be your terminal side. Yes? Your initial side, especially when looking at like an x and y axis, it would always be on your x axis. And y would always be looking at like, not where it's going. Yeah. Well, yeah, the y, if you're going to look at a coordinate point on the initial side, yes, your y coordinate would be 0. Okay. Yes? You lost me after you said positive. Like, I, I, like if it's facing up, it's positive, but what, what's with the other? Yeah, like under negative angle. Remember what I was saying? Like, see how you go from initial to terminal? Here I go from initial terminal, right? You could open this way, you could open that way, right? It doesn't matter. You can, these are both still 30 degrees, right? It doesn't matter which way I open it up. The measurement of them is 30 degrees. So what we, in standard form, when you measure an angle from your initial side counterclockwise to your terminal side, we give that a positive direction. The measure is still the same, but we give it a positive direction. Just like if you walk, you know, um, if you walk to the right, we say that's positive distance, and if you walk to the left, that's negative distance. However, distance is distance, right? It doesn't matter how, where you walk, you still walk somewhere, but the direction is different. Same thing with an angle. Opening it up and to the left is going to be positive. Opening it down and to the right is going to be negative, or we say our clockwise direction. That's what I was going to say. So like, your initial angle is always going to be horizontal. Your initial side, so yes. Can, yeah. Yeah, it's just going to give a negative value to it though now. OK, cool. Any question on this? OK, so that's the second part. Where does?